All right, so how to make a bunch of voiceover files out of a bunch of text for your game? Works like this. Let's have a look at some tools. Get right into this thing. So there's a couple things we'll need here. AWS text-to-speech on GitHub. This is going to do the majority of the heavy lifting for our application. We're also going to need to be aware of the Amazon Poly service. This is what's going to be transferring our text into voice. And then finally, you're also going to want to install the Amazon Web Services command line. These tools will work together to create what we want. And then finally, uh, a CSV file. In this case, I've generated this in Google Docs, and the format is the file name on top. And this specifies exactly what I want the files to be called. The voice column is the voice actor that will be reading the lines, and Amazon Poly has several voice actors. And description is the, are the lines themselves. So to use this thing, the first thing you want to do is file and then export a CVS file out of this. Now there's something to note here when you export your CVS file, you want to make sure that it looks okay by the time you're done. And what I mean by that is, let's have a look at this. I'm going to get rid of my old MP3 files here. We're going to generate some new ones. But I just want to point out one thing. When you get your file in CVS format, you may find some lines that end or wrapped in quotes, but the quote might be on the end of the line like this. You just want to bring it back up to the top of the line to fix those kind of things. I'm working on stripping that out within the code here, but I just don't have it in place yet. Alrighty, so second part, run the code. So this script goes like this, script, oops, script to speech, script to speech, and then you pass it the CBS file and run it. So what it's doing now is going line by line, going out to the Amazon Web Services, going to Poly, handing it a line of text for each of these lines, and then bringing it back, giving it the correct file name, and using the voice that we specified to create um, the audio for it. So this will take just a minute to run. There's about 30 lines or so to go through to generate. We'll just review the code real quick while that runs. Basically, it takes in one parameter here, and that's the CVS we passed to it. Right here, it's checking to make sure you actually pass the parameter to it so it doesn't run. This right here, um, these string replace. So you can't see them well in this editor. I was using a different editor to make this, but this is uh, the tiny triple dot from Word. This is come some of those weird single quotes that are curved. These are the, the double quotes that are italicized. So I used um, the PowerShell I. IFE, I think it's called. Let me double check. PowerShell ISE editor to create this. And I just took weird characters from the spreadsheet itself and cut and paste them uh, directly into the editor to find a replace. There might be a cleaner way to do that, but that's how I did it. And then down here, read in the CVS file. PowerShell makes it nice and easy. And then do a for each, for each item in the file. And so that means each row. It's going to look at it and it'll find the file name, it'll find the voice name, and then it'll take the, the line itself and then run it through the sanitize function here to rip out some of those characters because there are characters that can break the service. Well, you know, don't work on the service. They break when you attempt it. So with the characters stripped out, that's kind of the tricky part. And then the formatting on the CBS works well. You can go ahead and run this. And the last command here, this D is passing in the line itself to the Amazon text-to-speech service, and then the file name, and then specifying the voice of the voice actor. So we executed that, and we get this pile of files here. So if we have a look at the command, you can see there's a ton of MP3s. These are my voice lines that so will just open up any given one. We'll do audio. How about this voiceover with the pharaoh here? This one looks good. Open that. Oops, sorry. Not a Mac. We'll try this again. We'll hit start instead of open. And then we can see it popped up in Audacity. I don't know if we have a window captured here. Let me go ahead and open it in the window we can see in OBS. I'm still working on my OBS setup, guys. I apologize for its jankiness, but you can probably hear it, so let's go. Ho, there. Alien. I require your assistance. All of my coworkers seem to have disappeared, and I've been left to handle this station all by myself. Please, take a hammer and hurry. Okay, so there you go. We've got that line now read. Uh, generated from the spreadsheet. That's really all there is to this. I'm just using one PowerShell script to kind of read in a CVS file and sanitize it a little bit, make sure the lines look good, and then uh, run this against Amazon Web Services using AWS TTS to generate all that stuff. So, hey, I'd suggest just giving this a try to install AWS TTS 
And uh, this here, this is a Node package. So you're going to want Node.js. You're going to want um, version 6 at least. I think I'm using version 8. And then to get the Amazon Web Services to run, they have directions for Windows and Mac, so it'll work for either one. So that's the video. Hopefully this helps out. I gotta run. And uh, let's go ahead and flip back to this real quick. I don't think there's too much to go over. I'll just scroll through this code one more time so you can so you can see this. That's a comment over here. You don't really need to get the end of the line there. But this is the meat of the work right here, the sanitizer. And then this simple for each loop. Uh, there are other suggestions on how to write this for each loop, but this one's pretty good because it uses the import CVS feature as opposed to trying to just read the file in and then uh, parse it using, you know, like commas or something that breaks. That's pretty brittle. This is pretty solid. Okay, there you go. Text to voiceover lines. Prototype your games faster. Peace.